In the last lecture, we learned what is a service in Angular and why do we need a service. Now, in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's create a very simple service. After this lecture, you will have a good understanding of what is a service in Angular, why do we need a service, and how to create a service in Angular. So, let's get started. So, here in this web page, we have two courses JavaScript course and Angular course. And each of these courses are actually components. So this JavaScript course is one component and this Angular course is another component. And both these components has this enroll button. Now what I want is when a user clicks on the enroll button of JavaScript course, it should show an alert window with the message, thank you for enrolling to JavaScript course. Okay. And when the user clicks on the enroll button of this Angular course, in that case, it should display a message, thank you for enrolling to Angular course. Let's see how we can achieve this without using services. So let's go to VS Code. Let's open this source folder, then this app folder. And if I open this app component.html, you will notice that here I am using the JavaScript component and the Angular component. So we have these components here. Okay. Let's go to JavaScript component first. And let's open the HTML file of JavaScript component. Okay, so this is the view for JavaScript component. Inside this view, first we are displaying an image. Then we are displaying the course name. So for that, we are using the title property of this JavaScript component. If I go to JavaScript component.ts file, here you will see that this JavaScript component class has this title property, which is set to JavaScript. And we are displaying this value in the view. All right, and then we have this enroll button. Now what we want? We want that when a user clicks on this enroll button, we want to show an alert message to the user saying that, thank you for enrolling to JavaScript course. For that, what we can do is on this button, we can bind click event. Okay, and when this click event happens on this button element, let's say we want to execute a method and let's call this method on enroll okay let's go ahead and let's create this method inside the component class of javascript component so let's go to javascript component.ts file and inside this javascript component class let's define this method and inside this method i simply want to call the alert function and here i want to say thank you for enrolling to and then let's use the title property here for that let's say this dot title and then let's also append this string course okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i click on this enroll button it should show this alert window with this message thank you for enrolling to javascript course okay now we want to implement the same logic for the enroll button of angular course so currently when I'm clicking on this enroll button, nothing is happening. So let's go ahead and let's apply the same logic on the enroll button of Angular course. Let's go to VS Code. Let's close this JavaScript component. And now let's open Angular component. Okay, so let's go to Angular component.html. And here also we have this enroll button. On this enroll button, let's bind this click event. And let's call this on enroll method okay and let's go ahead and let's define this method in the component class of angular component so let's open this angular component.ts file and let's define this method here and here we want to display the same message so let me open javascript component class so let's open this folder and let's go to javascript component class and from here let's copy this logic okay and let's use it inside this on enroll method let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i click on this enroll button of angular course here also it should display the alert window with the message thank you for enrolling to angular course and when i click on the enroll button of javascript course it is showing thank you for enrolling to javascript course Okay, so this functionality is working as expected. But the problem here is 
if you notice if i open this angular component class and if i also open the javascript component class you will notice that we are writing the same logic in both of these component class okay so we have the same method in both of these component class with the same logic so here we are violating the dry principle here we are repeating the same code for different components and if we have more courses in this web page for example let's say if we have a react course and then node.js course then for each of those courses in the component class we will have to define this method and this is not an efficient way of developing an application okay so let's see how we can use services to avoid repeating the same code again and again for different components and how we can reuse a code so first let's remove these methods from these components this javascript component and this angular component let's also open the html file and from this button let's remove this binding of this click event okay all right so now if i go to the web page these buttons should not be working now now let's implement the functionality for this enroll button using services so the first thing which i'm going to do is inside this app component i am going to create a new folder and i'm going to call this folder services so inside this folder we are going to keep all our service files and inside this service folder let's go ahead and let's create a new file and let's call this file enroll dot service dot ts okay so this is the naming convention for creating a service file okay we use dot service after the service name and it is a typescript file so we also need to use dot ts extension all right so here this enroll service file has been created now inside this file let's create a class and let's call this class enroll service okay and let's also export this class now when we create a component we decorate the component class with at component decorator and when we create a directive we decorate the directive class with at directive decorator but we don't have to do anything like that in case of a service class okay so we need not to decorate this service class with any decorator a service class is a simple typescript class without any decorator all right now inside this service class let's go ahead and let's create a method and let's call this method on enroll clicked and let's say this method is going to receive a parameter let's call it title it is going to be of type string so this title will be assigned with the value javascript when we will click on the enroll button of javascript component and it will be assigned with angular when we click on the enroll button of angular component okay and inside this method let's call the alert function and here let's say thank you for enrolling to and then let's use the value of the title parameter and then let's append this string course okay so here we have created this enroll service and this enroll service has this method on enroll clicked now what we want is let me close these files here so what we want is we want to use this on enroll clicked inside the angular component as well as inside the javascript component okay so let's go to javascript component first let's go to the javascript component class and here let's create a method on enroll and from within this method we want to call this on enroll clicked method of this enroll service okay so for that what we need to do is first we need to create an instance of this enroll service inside this javascript component class okay and to create an instance first we need to create a variable 
let's call this variable maybe enroll service and then to create an instance we use new keyword followed by the name of the class in this case the name of the class is enroll service now in order to use this class inside this you know inside this javascript component file we also need to import this class from this you know from this enroll service.ts file so for that let's use this import keyword and here we want to import this enroll service class from and then we need to provide the path of this enroll service.ts file so this enroll service.ts file is present inside this service folder right and we are trying to access it from the javascript folder so here what we need to do is first we need to move one folder up to app folder for that we can use two dots and then a slash so now we are in app folder then in this app folder we have this service folder so here we can say services and then inside this services folder we have this enroll service file so now you can see we don't have any error here all right so once the instance of this enroll service class is created on this instance we can call that method and the method name is on enroll clicked and here we also need to pass an argument for this title parameter so for that let's pass this dot title okay so this javascript component class has this title property and we want to pass the value of that title property to this on enroll clicked method with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and let me click on this enroll button of javascript course component and nothing is happening here let's open developer console so we don't have any error as well all right now the problem here is we have created this on enroll method but we also need to bind this method with the click event right so let's go to javascript component.html file and again on this button let's bind click event and to this click event let's assign this method so this on enroll method okay with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now this button should be working so now you can see it is displaying an alert window with the message thank you for enrolling to javascript course okay now let's do the same thing for angular component so let me grab this method from here and let's paste it inside this angular component class okay now in order to use this enroll service class we also need to import it so let's get this import statement from this javascript component and let's use it inside this angular component all right and again let's open angular component.html file and on the button element let's bind click event and to this click event let's assign this method this on enroll method okay let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now when i click on the enroll button of this angular component here also we should get a alert window with the message thank you for enrolling to angular course okay when i click on the enroll button of javascript component it is showing thank you for enrolling to javascript course so the functionality of this enroll button for both of these components are working as expected and here we are let me close these html files so here we are reusing this on enroll clicked method in the javascript component as well as in the angular component now here you might ask we still have this on enroll method in both of these components then how is a service helpful here well if you notice inside this on enroll clicked method of this enroll service class we only have one line of code but when we are developing a real world application a method can have hundreds or thousands of lines of code so here we are simply displaying an alert window to the user when the user clicks on the enroll button but in real world application you might want to add that user to the database 
and then perform some logic and then display this alert message right so to write that logic this method can have hundreds or thousands of lines of code and we can reuse that hundreds and thousands of lines of code by simply using these two lines of code in our component class okay so using services we don't have to write that hundreds or thousands of lines of code for each of the components we can simply create an instance of the service and then we can call that method on that instance and in this way a service provides reusability of code in an angular application all right now here we are creating an instance of this enroll service by our own but this is not a good practice instead what we can do is we can ask angular to provide us an instance of this enroll service class and then we can use that instance and that is possible with dependency injection in angular and we will talk about dependency injection in great detail in our next lecture this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day